What's up guys? I uh, just wanted to make a quick video t for you today about how you can test what things you can use on a website. So like, uh, especially for like CSS, what kind of styles or properties can you use to, and how you can make sure that those are actually going to be compatible on browsers because a lot of new features come out um, specifically for like CSS and they're cool and they're really helpful, but sometimes they don't always um, work on all browsers like like they're supposed to. So I just wanted to introduce you to this website called Can I Use? It's called CanIUse.com, and this will uh, let you search any kind of CSS style and make sure that it'll work on modern web browsers or a web browser that you know, a certain population that you're making an app or a website for can use. So for example, if you're making that like an application or a website for say like a nursing home for like an older population of people that are going to be using it, maybe a lot of them don't understand um, like updating stuff or updating web browsers. And maybe they use old stuff like Internet Explorer, which is like dead, but like you could still use it, I think. Or maybe they just use like older versions of stuff. They have like really old, uh, maybe they have like a 2012 iPad and they can't even download the newest version of Chrome. So they're stuck on Chrome 2014 or whenever they, whenever they stop supporting the iPad 2012. I have an old iPad, so I know that's a thing. So like a lot of times people are using older equipment and Apple or Android or whoever supports that software doesn't continue to support it like 10 years later, even though it still works fine. They kind of force you to buy the new version because none of the apps work from the app store anymore. So that's another time where this can come in handy. But just to show you, this is caniuse.com. And I'm just going to type in like a property called like uh, grid. We'll say CSS grid. That's all you have to type in and it knows what you're talking about. And as you can see for an example here, CSS grid, it's all green now for most browsers, but not for all of them. Okay. So you got to be careful. Um, and it wasn't too long ago, so it looks like it finally works in Chrome fully. This was yellow for a while, so I didn't use stuff. Uh, I didn't really use CSS Grid a lot when it first came out because a lot of these weren't supporting it yet. It was yellow like this. Yellow means partial support, and red means not at all. It's not going to work. So luckily nowadays, as long as people are using updated devices, you can use CSS Grid in all browsers. These are the most recent ones. I don't think this was till this year. So released, you can see like when the, the newest version of these browsers released. So Baidu, this is like China's number one browser. So if you get any Chinese uh, people going there and it doesn't work on Baidu, your, your website doesn't work well on Baidu, that would like alienate all those people. You know, there's billions of people there, but it works now. So this was red for a while too. So I haven't really checked on this in a while, but it looks like CSS Grid is finally widely supported, which is good news because it's really makes laying websites out super easy. And even on uh, Chrome for Android, so all the Android phones that use Google Chrome, this for the longest time. So, yeah, look at that, released October 30th, uh, 2023. This for the longest time, like, really wasn't supported that well. So you couldn't really use Grid because if you wanted to factor in that a lot of people, everyone has a smartphone and, like, at least half the population or more has an Android phone, it wouldn't even work, you know, a lot of the websites if you had Grid they wouldn't even uh, display properly. So that's crazy. That, that That's kind of like a new thing. Um, but as you can see, this is Internet Explorer 11. So you're not supposed to use this anymore. It's dead. I don't even know if you can download it, but it doesn't really work. And then Opera is like another uh, web browser. And again, this is one that like just recently, so look at that January 15th, 2023, if they finally switched it over. And they finally supported it, but they didn't support it. A lot of people actually kind of use these kind of little, little browsers. They might sound, sound little and like you don't know what they are, but there's hundreds of thousands of users. So Opera Mini, I don't even know what that is, but it's still not supported. So maybe that's not even a thing anymore. But um, yeah, so that's like CSS Grid. So let's see what else is new. Uh, I found this this web article, the 10 new features in, uh, for CSS in 2023. So like I said, CSS, HTML, they're always getting new tags and stuff. So um, these are 10 new ones that are introduced this year, I guess, or in 2023. So let's see here, container queries. 
So these allow you to have more control over individual elements instead of making media queries for the whole page, it looks like. Let's see if that works. Let's go in here, see container queries. Ooh, see? So in theory, this sounds like a cool concept. This con container queries thing gives you more control, but it's so brand new that like no, so Chrome has partial support, which means it's still not gonna work half the time. And then all these other ones, not at all. So this might be too new. I don't know when container queries came out, but um, again, if we revisit this in like a year from now, a year or two, this, this will all probably be green, but for now, can't really use them. So kind of useless. That's the one thing about CSS is like new stuff comes out all the time, but you go you, you go to a website like Can I Use and you discover like, hey, this isn't that, and that's how CSS Grid was for like two or three years. It was cool, but like using it on a production project that was going to have like hundreds of thousands of users was not really feasible. It is now, but it usually takes a couple of years for all the browsers to adopt everything. How about this one? Viewport units. Um, developing a web page is important to take into account viewport height and width. Okay, problem is that methods are going to be taking into account. Okay, so this is for like mobile devices to make make the heights of things more accurate on mobile. So let's just, as one more example, we'll just check this out. So viewport units. Let's see. Viewport units. See if this is the thing. The V min, V max. Let's see. So what is this though? S V H and S V W. There it is. So let's type that in. Let's type in S V H. See, um, S V H is. I think this is it. And you can see, like Firefox doesn't support it. Um. Chrome looks like it does. Chrome for Android does. So as long as Safari and Chrome for Android support something, you're probably good to go. And then if Chrome and Safari for desktop, you're probably good to go. But Firefox doesn't support this at all. Uh, how about CSS nesting? It has the ability to nest one style or one side of another. So it looks like it'll work on the big browsers for desktop, like Chrome, Safari, Firefox. Safari on iOS has it. So if you use Safari on like an iPhone, Firefox for Android has it, but nobody else really does. It's par it's only partial on Chrome for Android. So for me, that would automatically be like, I'm never using this until that changes because that's millions and millions of users. So 35% of the global population. So yeah. But then you let's go to one more like Flexbox. And this has been around for a while and it's fully supported. This with CSS Grid, um, this was also there was a couple of years where this was a little shaky, but we're good to go. But um yeah guys, I think it's enough examples here. Uh I just want to let you know about this resource, caniuse.com. Make sure if you're making a website that you know for sure a lot of people or a decent amount of people are gonna be using that um you're not just chasing brand new technologies all the time because they're not always going to work. Always check them if you're not sure. And uh, that'll make you and your, your users or your clients a lot happier. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video.